is, uh, this is from the documentary. This is, a, this is a room in your house. Yes. This is the candy room yes. in your house. It's a candy room. It's a room just full of candy. Yes. Why do you have a candy room in the house? Okay. How much pot are you smoking? <laughs> I mean, from a kid, every day after school, I would go to the candy store, you know? And, um, and then one day I would also walk around like in downtown in New York. And when, as I got older, I, I saw this Dylan's candy store and it just really took me back to my younger age. And I, you know, I, I just, I'm a young soul and I just need some candy in my house. So I made a candy room. You're like Diddy Wonka. Yeah. Did you, do you have... <laughs> I, I believe I can make anything happen. What is your favorite candy? Um, Jolly Ranchers and Sweet Tarts. Oh, Jolly yes. Ranchers and Sweet Tarts. Which is which flavor, Jolly Rancher? Oh, um, cherry, wild cherry. That's the one I like yeah. too. Yeah. Yes. How about me that? too? I like the blue sweet tarts. The blue sweet tarts. Yeah. Okay, very yeah. good. So I'd imagine <laughs> you have a lot of those in there. So th this is FI. If you and I both like blue sweet tarts, <laughs> then obviously you have another connection. We're stronger. We're friends. In our identities. Yeah. Friends. And FI's are like, I want in. We're like, nope. You don't real. You won't die over blue sweet tarts, will you? If we all had to jump in on blue sweet tarts, I don't believe you. You're not really gonna commit, are you? Not friends. Can't That's do it. so true. That's yeah. So FI is so weird. Yeah, weird with candy. Just because those of us that are like, I have candy at my house, but I'm not gonna have a fucking room about it. That's yeah. super weird. And that's the demons. Like, here's the desire. Okay, so now you're old and rich. What do you really want to do deep down as a little kid? Have a giant candy room. Like, okay, that's that's a little. Right. It's a little childish. Right. Okay. Let's talk about. Uh, I don't know anything about this, but you know, I, I have meetings in the morning. I learn about my my guests and what's going on. Apparently, there are photos that you you crop people out of, <laughs> and uh, I know nothing about this but but tell me what's happening i mean there's this thing on in social media called the diddy crop and it and you know i, I take a lot of pictures with a lot of different celebrities because we're just all family and stuff and um sometimes my 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 photography editor he he doesn't let me know when he's like that taking guy. people he out he doesn't let me know the pictures and then so i just found out about this and then it became okay hold so on that's not the diddy crop that's the new one that's the diddy shop so what so diddy photoshop so you're adding people right now? There were people that were taken away that didn't deserve to be taken away. I had nothing to do with it. It was just like this, this, this young kid that works for me, he, he wanted a picture of Jay-Z, Nas, and Kendrick. And so he used his social technology skills, and that's what he did. Then well, my friends haven't been talking to me for like two weeks. Now, and do we have a picture of Love walking through in the Grammys holding a bottle of tequila? What, what, what is bottle that? was that? I have more information <laughs> questions. Let's talk about things and not people. And look at how unclear he was, by there the way. There you go, right? Like, she's like, what is the what? Right. So, like, back to, like, our, our you know, little checklist thing here. Yeah. It's like, what is the what? I don't know what happened. And then he right. says, did he crop? No, right. did he shop? Like, okay, great. What is the what? Right. What happened? And just having to go, huh? Right. You know, not clear. Exactly. We're not getting a sensor report of, like, this happened, and then this happened, and then this happened, and, and then, then, and then, then you're happened. going, okay, so what was the problem? What's Why? what's the punchline? Oh, people are upset, or I do think that's funny. The the the, the de of like, I, who who has more power than you? I mean, if you're a di, you're like, I fired that guy. Fuck that guy. Right. I didn't want that. I didn't want that. That was my say, and it didn't happen the way I wanted. Therefore, fuck that guy. Like, right. if you're a de, it's. There was a 12-year-old kid that interned for me, and that guy, that one is the one that made me do this, and he made right. me, so don't blame me. Like, right. hey. The next two clips we have really do prove DE very well. It's okay. him telling childhood stories of how much he jumped in and started to help his mom. I started, like, um, putting, you know, a legal age on my resume, <laughs> and I went and um, I docked it up. A, a birth certificate so I could work because I mean wow. I had to I had to do that I didn't want to I wasn't trying to be deceiving but I had to help my mother out I couldn't watch her work herself to death to and help. so I, I I began a a paperboy franchise we were talking about because you were paperboy I was a paper yeah boy. yeah yeah so you know paperboy <laughs> franchise and <laughs> that kind of taught me so much. I would take the all of the kids that were going to college, I would make a deal with them, give me your route, and then I'll send you half of the money. So I would give them an offer they couldn't refuse. So, you know, you get six routes. You know, I started making up to like, you know, $500 a week. And that was able to help out with the house and groceries. And that, 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 that gave me a sense of, 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 of just, like, pride that I was able to help my, help my mother out and my family. And, and, and so from that, I just I came like my mother. I had, a, I had my paper route. I was a gas station attendant. Wow. <laughs> oh, I, 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 worked, I worked in a Mexican well, restaurant. And so that's kind of how my journey began. My journey began as far as, which a lot of people in, in, in um, under, underserved communities, um, you know, it's survival. But for me, I was thinking bigger. I was thinking like, you know, I, I wanted to get to a point 
where, you know, where I can make a difference and, 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 and be something that represented my community in a positive way. The story of, of obligated to help and, and I'm processing like the, the TI way yeah. or the or the FI way, you know, the having to, to build the identity versus the OI way. So how, how is this not TI? It's like, well, we're seeing in there, we're seeing TE. We're seeing a way. I have a scam. Mm -hmm. I have a plan. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm building. I'm doing so. There's introverted energy, I should say, yeah. right? Introverted stacking, building. Fuck this opportunity shit. I'm going to make it happen. I'm going to stack this way, right? Yeah. But then the way that things are getting executed is like, I'll shit out the paper out. I'll shit out this. I'll, I'll work here. I'll work there. Multiple there's, different There's no identity skills. to like, I'm going to be the best goddamn no. chef ever. It's TE on a spectrum. As well as Fairsies. I thought it's interesting. Like, wait, 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 hold on. Slow down a second. You bargained with other paper routes and gave them half. And then did their and route. And did the route. So I'm like, what? <laughs> that's so deep. That's like high energy as well. I know. That's a lot of expending of energy. You get six paper routes. You only get half of the money of five of them because you just bargained with somebody else and go Farzee's more giving to yeah. you and I'll do half the work and you get my like what I know that's like you're supposed to do aren't you supposed to do it the other way or like you you set up the route <laughs> and then you make them do all the Here's work my scam and then you only give them half <laughs> right, right. he did it the other way I know it's so weird yeah that was a lot of work on self plus at the gas station plus at a Mexican restaurant like that's it's so a, much it's expending. not it's not like it's just to kind of go off for a second like when people go into like okay let's get serious mode you stop counting the cost. You stop the Fairsies game. Right. Well, I'm working five jobs and I'm giving half of the money to the, the lazy kid. Like, you don't fucking care anymore. You're a, you're a football fan and yeah. the rumor has it, and I, I think this isn't even a rumor, you're gonna buy the, the Carolina Panthers. Is that right? Um, I'm, I'm one of the people that are, you know, bidding and looking at mm -hmm. it. Um, it's, it's, I feel it's time for some minority ownership in, in the NFL, especially like 70% of the athletes African-American. And I think it's important for them to see um, somebody that looks like them you know, in an ownership position. Caring about the tribe. I think it'd be good for the NFL and for people as a whole, you know? Yeah. People. I, and that's a good team. Yeah. That's a good team to buy. You look good. What's the matter? Uh -oh. Sometimes when I'm here, my jacket bitches up. Uh -oh. When I watch uh -oh. it back, I don't like it, so I'm gonna make sure my jacket is yeah. down. Uh oh, get away. <laughs> Getting weird with things. Hey. Can I even tell you that twenty five percent of my my RAM is constantly going on with like I okay, would this say fucking, like this it's, fucking shirt. It's is, honestly so annoying. God damn, this shirt is weird. Hold as on, shit. let me put my makeup back on. I'm starting to sweat a little bit here. <laughs> I'll edit this out. This is so. This is like I got some new makeup. Your stupid shirt thing. Can I share these, these get, little makeup things? Shut up for a second. There's a nice little they're just Asian oil lady, blotters. Chinese lady. What, what can I say that's not racist about this? It's just a the, really nice. It's little not product. racist. It's, it is Asian. Okay. <laughs> He freaks out because he'll have the shirts on hangers. Like, oh, then God. stop putting it on hangers, oh, idiot. They put them uh, on hangers. And they do the little bump. And then it'll be like this. So he'll spend all <sighs> morning, like, watering it and then putting a stop, hair dryer on stop. it. Stop. Don't do this right now. <laughs> and then I got new hangers that you had to help me get. And yes. then the famous thing that I, I throw them in my closet and they're down on the ground. They're just sitting there. I got to wait. I got to wait until I get comfortable. And then when I have a weekend free, I can pull them out and be like, all right, let's go. But the biggest thing, and this is probably what's bothering him. The biggest thing that freaks you out that makes you literally like heart palpitation upset is if there's a tag. Oh, don't. That no. will make Stop him it. literally hurt people. I, I will switch <laughs> over to now start hurting people. <laughs> If I ever was like going on a jog and like I ran into somebody like, I'm the guy that invented the tag. I'm like, I'm going to jail. I'm going to have to kill you right now with my bare hands. Oh my God. An itchy tag on the back of your neck. Who did that? <laughs> Weird about things. Physical. Here it is. Yeah. Physical random chaos. It, it's causing the trigger. Causing the trigger. The right. stress from that random chaos. I'm like, oh my God.